Hey everyone, Sophia here from My Great Challenge and welcome back to my channel! It's Mental Edition! Um, I'm so excited. Yes, I am doing my Christmas decor really early this year. Uh, many reasons. One is that I don't want to stress it and do everything rushing at the last minute. And also because I really want to have an entire month of December with the holiday decoration this year. Sometimes we do Christmas decor two weeks prior to Christmas Eve and then we keep it for a few days afterwards because you know Scott has to have it down by the uh, uh, by New Year's Eve. Uh, are you okay? <laughs> Um, so it gives me only two weeks to enjoy my decoration. So uh, this year I'm starting early. So it's still November. It is the earliest ever that I have done Christmas decor. So you already saw that I did the um, uh, Radko tree and of course I love it. But this year for the mental, if you thought last year was over the top, <laughs> I am dabbling the effort. I want it high, I want it low, I want it under and above, I want it like really really big i'm even going to add a wreath to it i have um this old wreath that you probably remember that i didn't use last year i found it on the street it's very good quality um fall type wreath you know uh branches and i'm going to actually put it over here over the uh picture with matching decor i got a ton of feathers um and stuff so what i'm going to do is unpack everything and show you what I have, how I'm going to do it, and then I'll get started. I still have my friend's flowers <laughs> from Thanksgiving. They're going to have to go on the table. So without further ado, let me unpack, and then I'll show you what I got uh, to work with, and we'll get started. So it's actually just one o'clock in the afternoon on a Sunday and uh, it is raining outside so I have to have all the electric lights on so the color is not going to be the best. Um, it looks better during daylight and nighttime, but with electric light not so much. So what do I have to work with? These are the ones that I purchased this year. Uh, no they're not, that's last year. These are the ones I purchased this year that I used for the um, Thanksgiving mantle and I'm gonna reuse them because that was the purpose including uh, the fern here which look kind of yellow here but they really are not the green. Um, these are from last year, I have all sorts of foliage, some of it is garland, some of it is just um, picks. I have some Christmas picks here with some glitter on it, uh, some that are a little bit more glittery, some that are really really glitter. I love these, these are beautiful. I have some garlands, a mix of it. The star ornaments that I found last year at, um, uh, what's the name of it, uh, at home. They worked very well for me last year for Christmas decor, so I'm gonna reuse them. I have grandma's old pom-poms. I have these that were really cheap. Some of them I did not use uh, at home. They still sell them, by the way. Uh, I have this huge ribbon that was sent to me by Ingrid. Um, that's a peacock ribbon, you know, I do peacock stuff. And then I have a whole bunch of feathers that I have purchased this year and last year. And I have these. Uh, these are the ones that I bought from Amazon. And then these are the ones that Linnea sent me. So we're going to have feathers, more feathers. I have these two peacocks that were sent to me by Juanita. And what I'm going to do is add some actual feathers to them to make them fuller. I have these things here, um, they're all silver, where are you going? Hold on, we're trying to go there, okay. Uh, I have these, so it's going to be silver and glitter and there's more stuff here, oh, and then at the bottom, let me move that, 
because we need globes, right? I have all of the ornaments in green and peacock blue and dark blue and I have more over here. I was thinking about putting the Christmas tree in the middle but I think it's too small. This thing here, it lights up. I got it at Walgreens. No. Oh, it may actually be the right height. Oh, I think I'm gonna work with this. No, I actually got it at Aldi's <laughs> last year. So that will be uh, the top, the middle part. Yes, oh, it's gonna be beautiful. All right, you need to go on the dining room table. All right, and for a change, I actually had my wire this year. Remember last year, couldn't find it, so I have it. You can go somewhere else. I hope I removed the batteries last year. No, I did not. And they did. All right, so I have to put batteries. Okay. I'm gonna start with this because I am using those uh, garlands not necessarily for show, but I use them to secure everything else. Uh, so I'm gonna put it where I have an equal amount of both sides. And I have my hooks from last year, with the actual nails, that I use to secure. Uh, you off center. Oh yeah, totally off-centered. Okay, so it took a while, but I got it. <laughs> so I have two actually uh, that I met uh, here and here, and I use that wire to attach them, fluffed it nice, and I actually secured them here, but moved them up a little bit so that they're both exactly on the edge and they're both at the same distance. Um, they are pre-lit, so I gotta put the batteries in, but obviously I gotta wire the battery thing, pack back into it. So this is going to be the base garland. The goal is to have stuff dangling from it and then kind of like a big centerpiece here. And now I'm going to do the top one, which is really for the purpose of anchoring everything else onto it. It's not for it to be seen. Now, as much as I like this garland, every year I have the same problem with it. It slides off. It slides off and it's a big problem because that's how I broke my um, center. So I have to anchor it. All right, and I have the top base and I'm having those crystallized, whatever you want to call them, um, branches going down. So it's rounding the uh, mental a little bit and it's actually expanding it sideways too. So ready to start decorating. And actually, by putting it forward like this, this time around it allows me to put stuff and lean it or rest it on top of the mantle, something that I wasn't able to do in the previous year because I always had stuff all over. Uh, let me get the tape, because uh, I'm not gonna nail my foliage. I'm gonna tape it, and then some of it is gonna go and get hooked into the wire, the main wire. Um, that's what I mean by I'm using it as a base. This is nice. like it very much. Okay, so I'm gonna start with the center height and I'm using black electrical tape to hold these in the back here. It doesn't damage the frame. And the reason why I would rather use this than the other stuff I've used in the past is that the other stuff 
I don't know if you can see, but there's a big piece of plaster here that's missing. That's from one of those 3M hooks that people use. They're like, oh, you're gonna use this for your rib. I used that and took a whole bunch of plaster, which by the way, obviously, I've never repaired. <laughs> That's the layer on top that's going to allow me to put more stuff. This is not finished here, okay? I'm still working on it. So, so far I got the edges. Um, this is looking really full, I like it. So this is where I'm at, and I added uh, some stuff on top here. I got pretty much all the greenery, and again, it's not showing the right color because um, I'm in electric light. Um, but this is what it looks like so far. So what do I have left? Uh, I'm not going to put the wreath. It's too much. I'm going to use these. I have two. I have all the feathers, and then I have all of these. Um, that I'm gonna put in the one at the bottom and a little bit on top and then it's all ornaments bubbles and feathers uh, more of this stuff here and then the peacocks people always say have you ever heard the concept of less is more yes I have I just choose not to uh, <laughs> apply it I get it it's too much for a lot of people. Oh. <laughs> oh, I love it. Look at this thing. Oh, it's gonna look fabulous. Okay, I do want to put some feathers in it just to break the plastic look to it. Oh, and it looks so woodsy with the little pine cone next to it. I'm a nut. <laughs> Yes, so we're gonna put some, I don't want to cut them, so we're gonna have to gingerly place them. You know, every year I try to beat uh, 
what I did the previous year and uh, I don't know if I can do that next year. I don't know if I can do it because I really love this. I know it's not for everyone, I get it. Let me have my fun. All right, this is too much white. We're definitely gonna have to break a lot of that because this is getting like really what I wanted but now this is too Christmassy. But wait, this is a Christmas metal. It's supposed to be Christmassy. Uh, let's put some peacock in there. So in order to break the too much white here, I switched this with this. So this one used to be here and that's what making that's what was making this big white blob, but now with the fern I can see the tree kind of like pushed back into a forest. I like this. There's less of it, that's much better. I'm gonna leave it like that. Once I add the ribbon and the other stuff, it's gonna look much, much better. Okay, ornaments. keep making adjustments okay so the bottom one I had it curved but then I had like this eye that was the uh, brick in the middle and I like it so I moved it up um, and instead I have this and then I have one behind the tree and I wish I had better lighting because this is really not looking good on camera it looks so yellow but it's really green and purple um, and then I put feathers here uh, what else? I removed those two. I don't think I'm gonna need them. Uh, so now what I'm gonna do is put the purple green uh, ornaments in it. Uh, dangling from the bottom here and then throughout and then I just have to do the peacock ribbon and then put the batteries in all the light. Plug in the light that's in the back. Remember it's gonna uh, back light it and then this one here at the bottom is lit so it's gonna look pretty neat we'll see okay quick update I have ornaments and it's starting to look like something um, I have ornaments under on top and on the sides and now I'm gonna do ribbon Okay, I think the lighting is better. I changed the camera setting. So, it's not lit yet. 
Uh, you can see the battery thing is dangling over there, but this is what it looks like right now. And I added feathers, which I believe you can see. Maybe this is too much of a close-up. Um, boy, do I love this. <laughs> I really do. All right, let me move back. I granted the house needs cleaning, but here it is. I think it's my best one. What do you think? Let me clean up, put the batteries in the uh, garland, and then turn on the light in the back and put batteries in the tree, and I'll show you what it looks like at night. Da -da 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 -da. My 2022 mental! Yes! I think it's the best I've had. Okay, so these, I need to tie them up in there. But you see how the lights, and I'm gonna show you at night too, um, have the lights in the back, and they just make everything glow from behind. I love it. Okay, so let me show you what it looks like at night time. Uh, it's mostly backlit on camera at least um, but this is what it looks like boy I love it I love it happy with it. Listen, I'm perfectly aware that it's not for everybody, okay? I get it. <laughs> All right? And some people are gonna love it and some people are going to hate it and some people are gonna be like me, okay? But I love it and that's all that matters. Um, I think it looks great. Oh, it's so full and, and rich and, and not rich money but rich like, you know, like in fullness and, and dynamic there's a lot of stuff to look at so much greenery uh, it doesn't really look fake I love the peacocks the peacock feathers poking out here and there there's so much to look at that's the thing it's just not like a, a, a you know a regular mental you pass by and you're like oh this is nice oh I didn't see that um, so I'm gonna mess around with it a little bit more you know like fix this bow just right. I love the lights in the back um, doing this backlit thing on the uh, stars. The only thing that I don't like, the Christmas tree from uh, Aldi, the light is white. I wish it was a bright uh, yellow warm white light and it's uh, it's not, it's white. So it kind of, eh, you know, um, can try a little bit too much with the rest of the lights, but having the one lit at the bottom here just gives it fullness and volume. I love it. I love it. And because I did it so early, I get to enjoy it for the entire month. I would take so many pictures of this ad nauseum. Be prepared. <laughs> Be prepared. I'm going to send pictures on Instagram non stop with this. Um, from every angle, every light, uh, daytime, nighttime, uh, you know, maybe black and white. Oh, I love it. I love it. Okay, I hope you love it too. If you don't, that's okay. <laughs> I still love you. And that would be it. So, thumbs up if you liked it. 
subscribe right in the corner. Hey, find me on Instagram and Facebook if you want to see pictures of it. <laughs> in all sorts of day configuration, you know, sunset, sunlight, sunny day, rainy day, uh, you name it. Um, at my great challenge on Facebook and Instagram. Uh, if you're looking for vintage cool stuff as a gift, uh, check out my vintage finds at Frenchie and Tubby on Etsy. And then for the Migrate Challenge fans, there's the merch, Migrate Challenge gift also on Etsy. And for a more intimate look um, at my family and private life, you can find me on Patreon at patreon.com slash my great challenge. Thank you for watching. I am looking forward to spending the holidays with you. I'll talk to you later. Bye. Hey, it's me. And guess what? Click that thumbs up if you really like this video. Thumbs down twice if you didn't. You can also share my video if you really, really liked it or save it to watch later. Also, you can subscribe to my channel. But don't forget to click that bell button so you are always notified when I post a new video. Thank you for watching!